Matthew chapter 18, verse 19, Jesus says that if two of you on earth agree about anything and ask for it, it'll be given to you. And this promise related to our prayers, you know, I think one of the hidden reasons that families divide is prayerlessness, the lack of prayer. Jesus in this passage is encouraging us to find someone else, pray with them, and how often in your family, husband and wife, grandparents and grandkids, siblings, how often do you come together in prayer? My encouragement today is to commit to going to church, not just once in a while, but regularly. And so you're praying and worshiping together. And then also at home, often, deep, honest, seeking the Lord, praying together. It can be creative ways, writing out your prayer. Uh, it could be a time of worship together as a family, or just before bed, or dropping on your knees, praying for each other and with each other. There is something that happens in relationships. There's this dynamic, it's spiritual, it's real, that when as families we come together and pray together, don't take that for granted. If you have others in your family who will pray with you, Go there, ask them to do that with you today. Spend some time in prayer. Prayer bonds us. It's God's design, it's God's power. Make sure that's a part of your family relationships.